Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have got my updated makeup collection for January 2022. First off, can we just talk about the fact that it's January and that we're in the new year and it's literally crazy. Now, I know that I'm probably not looking my brightest right now. I don't have any makeup on. Reason being because the weather is absolutely horrible. If I could show you my window right now, it's so grey and gloomy, it's raining. It's been one of those days where I've literally just like been in my comfies. I've got my Mickey Mouse jumper on. I've got some cozy socks. And I've just been reading and watching YouTube and just having a chill and I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep it real with you guys because I always do. I'm not going to wear makeup today just for the purpose of doing an intro. I'm basically going to be taking you through my makeup collection, my storage and all of my skincare. So this is all of the updated stuff that I've got from Christmas, stuff that I've bought over the past year or so. And I know you guys seem to really, really enjoy these videos, so I thought I'd do another one. So without further ado, let's head into my drawers. Let's share with you all of my makeup, all of my storage and yeah, let's get going. Okay, so this is just an overview of my dressing table. This is how it looks. Um, obviously, it's the same dressing table that I've used in all of my makeup collection and storage videos. It's the Mom Table by Ikea, I think it's called. I really love this one. It's done me really well. I've had it for coming up to two years now. It's a really good size. It's super affordable. It's one of their cheaper ones. And I also love the fact that it's got this glass cover on top because it makes it super easy to clean. It's really, really simple. And then obviously, it's got the drawer on the bottom that's got all my makeup in that we'll head into in a minute. Okay, so so over in this section of the table, this is basically where I keep all of my brushes. I've got some of my lipsticks, some of my like everyday go-to ones and my more expensive ones. Starting off here, I've got this little body um, like decoration ornament. This is, I think it's actually a vase, um, but I just like to use it as a little decorative piece on my dressing table. This is actually from Monkey and it was about £10. I've then obviously got this pot that I have all of my makeup brushes in, which has changed from last time. If you guys remember last time, I had this massive tray that I've actually gotten rid of. So this pot here is something that I got for Christmas it says you grow girl and I think my sister got this from Sainsbury's and I keep all of my brushes in here I've got my hairbrush here and then I've got a bunch of different ones I've got some real techniques beauty bakery I've got some of the eco tool ones we've got morphe brushes I think this one is like a zoeva brush I basically just have loads I've got skinny dip ones so so many I use them all the time I've got a lot of brushes but they always get their use as for lipsticks like I said before these are the ones that I reach to the most. So I've got some Maybelline lifter glosses here. I've got the shade 3 Moon 08 uh, Stone. I've got my Fenty lip gloss here. This one is in Fenty Glow. I love this. Got all of my MAC lipsticks here. So I've got a little limited edition Trolls one. I've got Please Me. I've got Yash. This one here is one of my all time favourites. I absolutely love this colour. It's a super everyday one. This is one of my new ones. I haven't actually used this yet. I got this one for Christmas, but this one is in Cherry. At the back here I've got Whirl and then I've got my Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. Now I do actually have three but I don't know where my pillow talk has gone. So this one here is in Kim KW and then I've also got one of her newer lipsticks. This one is in Nude Romance. And then along here as well I've got a YSL lipstick. This is in a really gorgeous red colour. Obviously I've been loving this one for Christmas time but it just looks so so pretty. And then the acrylic case I've got this in. I think I actually got it from Poundland so super cheap. Moving on over here I've got these little kind of gold baskets they are so so beautiful I've got two of them and believe it or not I actually got these out of soap and glory gift sets I got them in the sale in the boxing day sales um it was literally £7.50 and it came with a bunch of stuff but I was obsessed with the baskets so I got one and my mum got one and my mum gave me the extra basket which is why I've got two on either side I'll show you the other one in a minute in here I basically keep all my perfumes and before I did have them on a tray but I just felt like it collected so much dust and just wasn't really what I was going for anymore I just think these look a lot more classic and a little bit more funky. In here I've got a ton of different perfumes. I won't go through all of them but I've got like a body shop one here. I've got uh, Black Opium. I've got Lady Million. I've got Dior Poison Girl. This is C by Giorgio Armani. I've got Angel. There's some Zara ones. I've got a Armani perfume I think back there. This one is also another Armani perfume. I basically just got a bunch of them. I wear perfume so 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 much. I love it and I've got a big collection of them and I just love how these look in there. I just think they look so nice. So over here of course I've got my second Soap and Glory little basket here, my gold one, and then I've also got a Yankee Candle. So this one is one of the home inspiration ones in Unicorn Dreams. Got it for Christmas. It smells like watermelon and it's obviously pink, so it just looks so, so nice. For my skincare, this is definitely a new addition, um, but I absolutely love how it looks. It's so much easier for my skincare routine now because I can just reach it and go. Bunch of different brands here. Um, this is all like my favourites. 
So I've got my Bioderma micellar water. I've got a classic Garnier micellar water at the back there as well for spares. Here I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, which I absolutely love. So beautiful. I've got my Beauty Sleep Lush Face Mask. And then at the bottom, I've got my Body Shop Oils of Life Sleepy Cream. That's a really, really, really good one. We've got some number seven face toner. I've got a Body Shop Peppermint Foot Spray. I've got some minis here. These are Body Shop minis. I've got a Vitamin E Cream and then a Coffee Mask. Mario Bede spray we've got Kiehl's eye cream Liz L cleanse and polish and then finally in this little corner on the top of my dressing table I've got my photo frame for me and my boyfriend classic I love this really nice wooden frame I've had it for years now and then I've also got this little succulent fake plant pot this is pink I got it for Christmas but I'm pretty sure it might be from like Tesco Sainsbury's I've then got my little acrylic cotton bud holder definitely in need of some more of these I think I got the acrylic holder from the range um, but again it's just super ideal and super accessible to you so I love that one okay so now that I've gone through that I'm gonna go through all of the drawers now obviously I've got all my little sections okay so in the first section as always I've got all of my powdered products all of my boxed face products this has definitely changed since the last video I've done and as always I recycle all of my makeup containers these are all reused glossy box boxes and then I've got a few little acrylic hobby craft boxes as well which I'll share with you in a minute so in here I've just got a bunch of stuff really at the back here I've got some revolution boxed products these are part of their like themed collections so i've got a disney cinderella one i've got the nightmare before christmas one the back there i've also got some poundland stuff because i actually really really rate the poundland powder um so i've got the poundland powder here in two different shades i think i've got one in shade translucent and then i've also got one in shade three i've also got a poundland bronzer and then along here i've got one of my favorite blushes ever this is the charlotte tilbury cheek to chic now this has broken so many times from when I've gone on holiday so it's pretty much like a loose pigment blush now but I absolutely love it. Also down there I've got a strobe gel, this is a Zoeva one. Moving on to this area, so all of this stuff is much more everyday used so it's a little bit more reachable. So down the side here I've got my everyday blush, so this is from the brand Physicians Formula, it's the Butter Blush. It's in the shade Rosy Pink. It's so, so nice. As you can see, it's really, really pretty. Also down here, I've got my Everyday Highlighter. This is the Ofra Steph Toms one, I think. It's in, yeah, Milk and Cookies. I got this for my birthday. As you can see, I've used a lot of it, but I absolutely love this. I use this every single day. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder. I love this one as well. I've got this in the shade Light Plus. Definitely hitting pan on there, but I love this one. I've also got a little body shimmer. This is the W7 Peaches and Gleam. Now, I love this for nights out because when I fake tan, and it's so lovely on top. I've also got a little mini hula down here. This is the Benefit one. Obviously, I've hit a lot of pan on that. And then if you can see down the side here as well, I've got some full-size Benefit box products. So I've got a full-size of the hula because it is my favourite bronzer. I use this every single day. This one's actually a new one that I got for Christmas, but I just absolutely love it. It literally lasts for ages as well. And then next to that, I've also got this really gorgeous Tickle Benefit highlighter. So again, it's super, super pretty in pink. And if I just show you it's literally the most beautiful color it's so lovely on top of blush and things like that so i love this one moving on to the next little container so this is basically all of my foundations concealers and setting sprays so again this has changed from the last video i've got a few new ones here i've got my classic little poundland foundation this is one i actually did a testing video on i tested it against the charlotte tilbury light wonder foundation and it's a really good dupe also along that i've got my kevin aqua the ethereless foundation as you can see i haven't got a huge amount of this left because I love using this one when I fake tan. I've then got my Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation in the shade of Barley Vanilla. I've also got my NYX Born to Glow. This is an absolute staple for me. For £10 it's so so good. Again I use this shade for when I'm tanning. It's in the shade Caramel but it's a really really nice one. Then down here I've got a Revolution Foundation Stick but I actually use this for contouring. So it's a really really good contouring shade. I got this one in F13. Just below there if you guys can see, I'll try and pull it out. I've got the NYX Bear with me tinted skin veil so this is more of like a tinted moisturizer it's really light but it's a really really lovely product for concealers i kind of switch between two now these are my two favorites so i've got the rimmel lasting radiance so this is a really nice brightening concealer i think it's in the shade ivory and then i've also got this one this is the makeup gallery poundland one in hide and chic again i found this one when i was trying out the poundland makeup a really really good concealer i think it's in the lighter shade but it just makes my under eyes look so so bright 
great. At the back as well, I've obviously got my little setting sprays. So I've got a mini of the Pore Professional Super Setter by Benefit. Down the side here, I've then got some minis. So these are mini for the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I love it. I've also got my full size MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus here. This is the iridescent one. So I don't know if you can see, but it's got like finishing kind of like gold specks in it. And I love using this one after I've done my makeup. Down the side here, I've then got my Primark Prime and Infuse. Now, as you can see, they are so similar in packaging. This one's a really good dupe for the Fix Plus. So in this little section, I've got all of my lipsticks, my lip glosses, basically any lip product that isn't on the acrylic stand you guys seen on my table so this one is literally heaving I won't lie like it's double layered so much stuff in here I won't go through it all individually but I will pick out a few of my favorites I've got some lip glosses here these are both revolution ones this one is the pout bomb one and this one is the friends Monica one now this is a amazing dupe for the Fenty glow as you can see the colors are super super similar and it's super shimmery I've also got a w7 happy hemp um, like plain shimmer lip gloss i've got some orangey lip glosses there i think that one is a essence one bunch of revolution ones here as well i've got another like disney revolution one as far as lipsticks i've got some rimmel ones here this one's a really gorgeous color um i don't even know if they do the shade anymore but it's in unclothed 700 i've got a minifit of the benny tin we've got a urban decay lipstick here this one again is a really nice nude color a mac lip gloss bunch of different revolution lip glosses i've got some from the Simpsons collection they did like the Treehouse of Horror Halloween. I also did a video testing out this range which I'll link down below if you guys are interested. I really really love these. They've got some really gorgeous colours. got like a Soap and Glory one. I've got some W7 ones. These are obviously dupes for like the Kylie ones. A bunch of different lip liners and stuff. I've got NYX. I've got some Poundland ones. I've got Collection. Maybelline. This one is another Poundland one. Even though there is so much in here I get so much use out of them and you can pretty much guarantee that I've always got a lip colour that will go with every outfit, which I love. All of these products are so good. Again, there's a really big range between drugstore and a few high-end ones. And yeah, I just absolutely love this section. So colourful and pretty and oh, lipstick and lip gloss are like my favourite products to wear. In this section, it's a little bit more sparse, but this is basically my eyebrow and my eye section. Now, you guys know that I get lash extensions so I don't really wear mascara hence why this section is quite small. I do have some false lashes at the back these are stick on ones. Now these haven't been used in god knows how long because I do get lash extensions but they are always here on the off chance that I might need to use them. So I've got the Golden Gatsby LA Splash ones and then I've also got some Claudia Killsby lashes. These are incredible. Um, I'm so sad that I can't use them because they are such good dupes for eyelash extensions. If I can find her instagram i'll leave it linked down below because she's like an independent business that i found on tiktok really really good these ones are in the shade ck9 they're really pretty you can see that i've used them and then as for brow products i've got my 24 hour brow setter here i've got some what's this benefit roller lashes is the brown liner full size benefit they're real mascara um for when i do need to wear some mascara i've got this is, oh, a Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a face primer. I've got some Collection Brow Promade. I've got some Brown Liquid Liner from Poundland. I've got a mini of the Gimme Brow. I do have a full size of Gimme Brow somewhere, but I don't actually know what that is. I literally used it this morning, so a little bit concerning. I've got a mini of the Professional. I've got a Collection Liner here. This one is a NYX Brow Pencil as well. A bunch of different, like, brow gels and stuff like that. This is more for the brow products, but I do have the odd eye product in there. In this little container, this is basically where I keep my smaller eyeshadow palettes so these are the ones that I'll take if I'm going away they're perfect for travel because they're very compact I've got a few of the revolution theme palettes here so as you can see I've got the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror one this one is the mini eyeshadow palette really lovely like I said I have tested out this range if you guys would like to see it I'll link it down below I've also got a mini Huda Beauty palette here this one is really really lovely as well this is Topaz Obsession we've got a W7 vivid eyeshadow palette this is a big dupe for one of the Huda Beauty ones actually. Also got my friend Monica palette here. Again, this is one of their themed ones. I've got another Revolution themed palette. This is the Corpse Bride one. I was actually meant to get round to film a video testing out this range, but I haven't actually done that yet. So do let me know in the comments if you would like to see that. Or if not, I guess I can always save it for next Halloween. But this is a really beautiful palette. I've got some smaller ones that are just slightly big enough to fit in. So I've got this MAC one. This is in Mischief Minx. It's in like a cool 
leopard print colour and I'm pretty sure this is a face highlight and then the rest are gorgeous eyeshadows. Again this is super well loved, I love this one. I've got another Simpsons Revolution one, this is actually a face palette. Um, this is really good guys, like I actually really rate it, the bronzer on it is so so good. Then I've got a OG staple here, this is the Too Faced Gingerbread Extra Spicy Palette, I've had this for years, I absolutely love it, it's so so good, as you can see it's super well loved. And then over here is basically the messy side of my drawers. Um, it's a little bit chaotic but there's kind of some organisation to it. In this makeup bag here, this is actually the Bratz makeup bag, um, again from one of Revolution's collections. I absolutely love it, it's like such 2000s, 90s vibes. And in here I keep a bunch of different utensils. Current makeup sponge I'm using, this is one of the Real Techniques ones. I've also got some spares, so I've got some mini Real Techniques sponges here and then I've also got a brand new Real Techniques one in a case to keep it nice and clean. I love having backups, obviously it has just been Christmas so I've got a bunch of them to go through but that's basically where I keep these. I've also got a bunch of other little bits and bobs, this is a T-Zone spot zapping gel. I've got eyelash colours even though I don't really use these anymore. I've got some tweezers, a um, bunch of different razors and things like spare razors in here. I've got my Hey Estrid one here which I love so so good, they kindly gifted me this one. Funnily enough I've actually just found my Benefit Gimme Brow full size so that's where it's obviously gone. Um, um, but I've also apparently got that in there. I've got my favourite lip balm. This is the Blisterex Intense Moisturiser. Down the side here I've got a few other little essentials, bits and bobs that I might need to easily reach while I'm doing my makeup. So I've got a bunch of scrunchies here. I've also got my little handheld mirror. So this is the Revolution one for the Corpse Bride. I love this. Honestly, I don't know how I ever went without a handheld mirror. It's so, so good. So much easier than using an eyeshadow palette. I literally love it and I don't want to flash you because honestly the ring light's probably going to blind you guys but it's a really really good size one and it was super affordable. Back here I've also got some little utensil bits, this is a little headband to push my hair back for makeup, for skincare, I've also got one of my all time favourite little crocodile claw clips, this is one from ASOS I think. And then at the back I've obviously got my bigger palettes as well, so here I've got my Revolution and Bratz collection, this is the Sasha palette, I haven't actually used this one yet but it's so beautiful, I think I'm going to give this one a go on New Year's Eve. I've also got a couple more little Revolution palettes if I can reach them. Um, so I've got the I Heart Revolution Disney Princess and the Frog palette. This again is really beautiful. I have actually used it. I just tend to keep the plastic cellophane on it to stop it falling out. But again it's got some really lovely colours. It's got a face side here and then this is all eyeshadows. And then I've also got my Revolution Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, again this is the Sally palette. I've used this one quite a lot as well. Really really nice colours. Perfect for kind of this time of year or like Halloween. Really really nice. And then right at the bottom I've then got a huge Morphe palette which is basically just good for any type of makeup. You can see there's so many colours. I love the greens. The greens are lovely. I actually went to a wedding recently and I had a bit of green in my dress so I collaborated it with some of the green glitters and the foils and it looked so so nice together. Some really nice colours. You've got some neutral ones and some out there ones. I feel like if you're someone that doesn't want to buy lots and lots of eyeshadow palettes this is definitely a good one to go with. Just because it is so versatile this is the 35M one. I really really love it. Okay, so I hope you guys really, really, really enjoyed this video. If you did, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up and of course, hit that subscribe button. For this year, I just want to throw so, so, so much for my YouTube channel and my platforms and just try super, super hard, engage with you guys as much as possible, do some really fun content and I would absolutely love it if you guys were here to stay with me. My uploads are now Thursdays and Sundays also. Make sure your notification bells are on at 6pm on a Thursday and a Sunday. I will be doing all of my uploads for this year and I can't wait to see you guys there. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very, very soon in another video. Bye!